Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks with another Serum tutorial for ADSRSounds.com. So if you're not signed up to this YouTube channel, please subscribe at youtube.com forward slash ADSR Toots, that's T-U-T-S. In today's video, I'm going to show you a cool tip and trick that I like using inside of Serum. And if you guys don't have the LFO tool by XFR Records, then this tip becomes even cooler. So before we go any further, let me play this progression real quick and we're focusing on this track right here. All right, so it's like a big progressive EDM style saw or super saw sound. And I have an instance of the LFO tool. And if you guys watched my tutorials before, you know I'm a big advocate of this plugin. What it does is it mimics the sound or the effect of sidechain compression. But in my opinion, you have more control over how it affects the output of the sound, more so than loading up a ghost track, like a kick drum or something, and then tying that to your sound. Because how much the sound is sidechain is going to depend on two variables in that instance, the kick sample and how long it is or how short it is, and then how you have your ratio and your, your release and attack in the um, compressor. And that all kind of plays off of each other. So even if you have a really short attack time, if you have a, a little bit of a delay in your attack and your kick sample that you use or or you have a really long decay time with your kick and you have a short release, well then they can kind of play off of each other in negative ways. So the LFO tool gives you a graphical user interface where you can just load up different presets of sidechain. There are six of them in the actual plugin and they look like this and they all have a different purpose. Like here's your sub bass type, uh, things that you just want the attack to come through and the body kind of to be out. So that's what I had loaded up on this sound. Basically, the uh, attack of the sound is there. Uh, about 20 or 30% of the body is cut out via sidechain type effect. And then the release is coming back in. So it's a really prominent effect in EDM and you get the sound. As opposed to if it's off. And the reason you want to sidechain stuff beyond the vibe and kind of that bobbing your head feeling that it gives your tracks is also to open up space for other sounds. So like your your snares and your, your claps and even your monophonic leads that may be going over the top of a sound like this, it gives them room to breathe. Well, the cool thing about Serum is the LFOs have the exact same shapes or you can make them actually if you'd like, but they actually have a, a folder where if you click on this folder in any of your LFOs and go to sidechain, they actually have all of the six sidechain side chain shapes available to you in the LFO tool, they even give you a seventh one. So I played that demo with the LFO tool doing the side chain compression or the side chain effect. Now let's do it all inside of Serum using an LFO. It's really simple. All you have to do is go to an available LFO that you're not modulating any sources on, which shouldn't be too hard because you have four LFOs inside of Serum. And then to modulate the proper parameter, you can't do it via drag and drop. So, you know, most of your connections here for your modulation, you can do drag and drop on the oscillator tab. Well, you need to go to your matrix tab, scroll down to an available matrix slot and select LFO2 because that's what I have set up to have that side chain shape. And then go to the destination, go to global and select amp. Now you can't modulate the amp on the oscillator page. It's impossible to do. You have to do it in the matrix. It's one of those few that you have to. Then crank this up and play around with this curve, but now this response curve, but now let's solo this and listen. So you can see that it is affecting the sound like a sidechain compressor or the LFO tool would. Now there's a couple things you might need to tweak here and that might be the release of your first envelope. And more importantly, something that you're gonna have to tweak would be your effects. Because if we looked at how the signal flow is happening when we are using the LFO tool or a sidechain compressor that's tied to a ghost track, it's happening after the synthesizer. So right now, 
uh, these effects are happening kind of with the output. That's how the routing is occurring inside of Serum. So the delay and the reverb are a little too much. So all you have to do is go to those effects inside your effects slot or, or your effects rack and turn down the mix a little bit, turn down the mix of the reverb and the delay. And you can even drag and drop a little bit of this sidechain compression shape to uh, your mix point that you want to have it. So I'll typically boost it just a hair and then drag up my depth on that LFO that's acting as a sidechain compressor. And it comes a lot cleaner. And there is that kind of really iconic sound with EDM and progressive. So let's play it now back with the progression. So there you have it. It's a really quick, easy, and effective way to create a sidechain style or sidechain compression style effect inside of a synth, which typically would be kind of hard to do, but the LFOs are very flexible in Serum. And it may not be the perfect sound right off the bat, but it's something you can tweak. And it is also really helpful just if you're kind of writing and creating, and you don't want to go through the process of loading up a ghost track or a third-party plugin. You can just really quickly do it inside of the synth, which is always helpful. So if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.